I am gonna straighten my hair, but I wanted to talk about my opinion on the documentary What the Health. So I watched What the Health, uh, when, I don't know, a couple days ago, and I was curious to see what about this documentary stood out to people so much to make them want to switch to a plant-based diet or a vegan lifestyle, whatever you want to call it, um, at least as far as nutrition goes. Because I noticed that so many people saw this documentary and this documentary specifically is what made them want to go plant-based, which I think is interesting considering like this stuff has been around for however long. So I watched it and as a vegan, I, I liked it. It was informative, it was interesting. It was, I could see how it would be eye-opening to a non-vegan, I guess, or a non-vegetarian even. And um, I guess what, a lot of people are concerned about with it is that they think some of the information is false or that it's too biased and that the doctors are questionable or whatever arguments are against it. Um, though the movie is significantly biased, obviously, their goal is to get people to be aware of what they're eating and to go plant-based because let's be honest, what they're saying is true. And, you know, some of the studies may seem a bit questionable, and I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, like, for example, they said that eating one egg is equal to smoking five cigarettes. I personally don't believe that's true. Um, there may have been studies done to prove this. However, it could be on some sort of animal that is not related to us enough or is just affected by eggs or cigarettes in a different way like you just never know because typically the way that a scientific study or scientific paper or any sort of research works is that the work needs to be done and the work needs to be peer reviewed and edited over and over and over in order for it to be published so they need to provide proof and if they don't have that that will be withdrawn from a journal or it will not ever be published. So it is possible that there was like a mistake or something, but these studies are legit and you can look them up for yourself and you can look up even other journals and articles that were done in studies that can prove, you know, the benefits of a plant-based diet or the downside of consuming meat, processed meat specifically, and dairy, etc. So even if you think that this documentary may be exaggerated or too extreme or false, whatever, it can't be denied that this whole system is exactly that, a system. Like the government makes unhealthy foods cheaper because that equals money for them. And you may think like the government, the government, those are people too, of course. And you know, all these businesses have people behind them, of course. But they don't think of like the health side of things. They don't care. They do think about those things. They know it's bad for you. They know that this could potentially cause heart disease or diabetes, etc. But they care more about the money. It's just like any other industry. Most companies, most businesses care about the money. So if something, for example, we all know tobacco is like you're asking for lung cancer or whatever. You're killing your lungs, you're killing multiple cells within your body. Like, we all know this, yet that business is huge. There's people behind that business. That's just how it works. There's also people behind the meat and dairy industry that make billions 
because of the consumers. So I don't know why it's so surprising now to people that this is a thing. Like, the more unhealthy America is or any place is, the more money every single industry gets. Like, it's just a system. The more people that have cancer, the more money goes to these hospitals. The more somebody needs gastric bypass, the more those those surgeons are in business. Like, they don't want Americans or people to be healthy. Like, that's not gonna make them money. Because think about, like, if you are a healthy individual watching this, for example, how often do you go to the doctor? For myself, I consider myself pretty healthy. Um, if I get like a cold or something, it's enough for me not to have to go to the doctor. So I will typically never go to see a regular doctor or I'm not gonna go to some, you know, breathing specialist because I have asthma or because I have like all these allergies or um, because I have heart disease or high blood pressure or something. I don't need to keep going to a doctor because I am a healthy person. So they need unhealthy people in order to make money. So it's just a system. Like, I just don't know why people have not been able to see this all this time and are just now realizing that. And I mean, it's good that people are realizing that. And um, I think I got knowledge of it probably, I mean, I was vegetarian since I was like 11 years old. And I do it more so for, you know, the animals, the love of animals. But you also benefit health-wise, of course. And I've been vegan for a little over a year, like a year and a half maybe. And um, I honestly wish I transitioned sooner. And I knew what was going on with animals. And, you know, I can see because... There's a lot of things that I learned after transitioning to vegan or like right before going to vegan that I didn't necessarily pay attention to before. Like for example, um, they, you know, the cows, the dairy cows that are in their little chambers or whatever you want to call it with the things uh, hooked up to their udders, they are artificially inseminated, meaning they are raped basically by a human which I think is disgusting like people take sperm shove it up the cow and this is how they keep lactating because they keep them pregnant and you know what they do they have the baby they take that baby away from them that baby is probably either either slaughtered right, right away probably not because it needs to be bigger so they're gonna feed that baby antibiotics and hormones to get bigger and get fatter and to have more muscle on it or whatever to make meat quality meat and um then they're just gonna kill that baby or it's gonna go on to be a dairy cow itself like this is just how it works so this being that has feelings and emotions because cows do have a huge attachment to their young and a huge attachment to other cows um just do search some stuff about cows if you'd like to this goes for many animals uh so yeah they are raping the cow then that baby cannot be with its own mother and that's like emotional torment for both the mother and the child. So that's one thing. And then we go on to look at the actual meat and dairy industry where they, for example, um, most meat is not sold just like naturally. They put things in it, nitrates, in order to change it physically to be more attractive to a consumer because if you were to buy meat like just fresh meat it would be a brown ugly color it would be disgusting just think of something that's dead think of a you know if you see I don't know like it should be brown and look dead like if you see a dead person or a dead animal they're usually like pale and cold imagine that as a piece of meat that's what it's supposed to look like not bright and red and pretty as some people see it. That is stuff added to it in order to make it more appealing to a consumer. And I also learned a lot of stuff throughout college. So the biggest class I would say um, 
that I learned stuff from was toxicology. And I want to say it was, um, what's it called? Toxicology and I don't know, something environmental. But it's in that class where I learned about, you know, even the way they fertilize plants and stuff like that, but especially the way, you know, the hormones and the antibiotics that they put into these, these animals, um, how much of it is leached into, you know, natural water systems and the oceans and all that stuff, and also how much of it is consumed by somebody consuming it. So I think that this documentary was obviously good because you know, I am vegan and I would love for everyone to be vegan, but I'm not one of those people that would ever force anybody or, you know, be like, you must be vegan or you're a terrible person. That's just not how things work. And I think those vegans that are like that make us look bad because, you know, sometimes we get a bad name, but I think this documentary is good because it opened people's eyes and you know, spread the truth of what's really happening in this society and hopefully more people decide to transition because it's not difficult and um, it's just better overall. Like you're going to improve yourself, you're going to improve the lives of animals, you're going to improve the environment. There's just so much to benefit from it. Oh, and what I loved about the movie actually was that they showed bodybuilders and they included that for several clips because a lot of people have this idea, even I had this idea for the longest time that like, oh, we need one gram of protein per pound of body weight or even more than that. And it's just not true. And when I look back and think, um, I gained the most muscle and I look the best, or look the best as a vegan. So for sure I've gained the most muscle as a vegan. and. I look back at my diet of what I've been eating for the last year and few months and I wasn't consistent with protein. I wasn't consuming 110 grams of protein every single day. I wasn't drinking protein shakes every day. None of that. Like I just would eat and I have muscle and I look fit and I look good. Like this needs to be more seen because like you will get enough protein from a vegan diet even without supplementing. And I am living proof of that because yeah, you know, I've, the, the longest I've supplemented continuously is maybe like three and a half weeks where I was drinking protein every single day. And I didn't experience any crazy muscle gain or something like that. I have just always eaten and I, I do meal prep, of course I eat good, but I never, have been consistent with hitting my macros or whatever, especially with protein. And, you know, they mentioned that the biggest animals, such as like gorilla, the rhinoceros, um, even like back in, I don't think they mentioned it, but when I think of it, um, dinosaurs were herbivores. So it's like, these huge animals are able to get that big just with eating plants. Same goes for humans. So even if you felt that this movie was extremely biased or a stupid movie or whatever you may think, um, it's, it is at least partially the truth. And if you think these doctors were paid or something or the people being interviewed were paid, um, just think about everyday life you know ask yourself these questions that are kind of obvious and pay attention to just be aware of like what you're purchasing and you know the price of things so for example um and if you follow me on instagram you saw me writing this as i was watching the movie but uh if you think of, you know, going to get fast food, for example, these uh, double cheeseburgers and french fries and all that, you can get like a full fast food meal filled with shit and it's going to cost you under $5. But if you're going to go somewhere that's more natural or organic, 
it's gonna be, you know, five, seven, ten, fifteen dollars. If you buy these organic foods, they're gonna be more expensive because organic or healthier foods because they don't want you to be healthy. That's just how it works. Or, you know, think about when you go to the grocery store, just all the healthier food is way more expensive. And, you know, not necessarily. Being, being vegan is not more expensive. And, you know, especially if you eat like the whole foods, plant-based diet, um, and you buy in bulk and stuff like that, it's not expensive, it's not overpriced. And they go into that in the movie too about, you know, what you can buy and all that stuff. And, but yeah, just think about how much it costs to buy a whole thing of soda versus, you know, like a pure fruit juice or something like that. So it's just a system and they don't want people to be healthy because, you know, everybody, if you keep eating these unhealthy foods, then you can, uh, then you're going to become unhealthy in general and you're going to have heart disease and high blood pressure and diabetes and asthma and you're going to need drugs so you're going to go to the pharmacy and the pharmacy is going to make bank off of you because you're going to need to be on these drugs for the rest of your life and that's just how it works and then you're going to need to go to the doctor every few weeks and they get money and you're eventually going to need surgery because your arteries are clogged or something like just think about it and don't fall into this trap of especially in America, of how they handle health and public health. Because, you know, they want to, they make it sound like, oh, we're trying to cure this and cure that. But these companies that are doing research, um, they mentioned a big one, Susan G. Komen, and they even say this in the video, they focus so much on recovery and you know cure and treatment and all that but they don't even focus on the prevention of these diseases and what they're doing is collecting a bunch of donations and a bunch of money for them to do research and you know it may seem like that but you're telling me that we don't have a cure for these things like there's got to be there's got to be so yeah if you're interested i suggest you watch the movie and you know, do your own research because it's just important to be aware of, you know, everything going on and take care of yourself and don't fall into this trap because that's what they want you to do. And you, like, people... Oh, I also uh, got certified in plant-based nutrition and a ton of the people that were in this documentary were people who talked in that certification, like the courses, they would teach like a whole section or whatever, which was pretty cool to see, but um, that's where I also got a lot of knowledge from was the plant-based certification and um, it was through eCornell, which I can link below if you guys are interested because it, it was very interesting. Uh, but where was I going with that? I don't know. I think I'm just trying to get to like just educate yourself and don't be blind to it. Try to make smarter decisions and you know any bit helps. So there are lots of people who obviously don't want to go plant-based or vegan whatever you want to call it and you know that's fine. I think that would be amazing if everybody was vegan like I said but if you at least reduce your consumption of meat or dairy or anything or just give you know vegan foods a try give vegan meat a try because it helps support those industries and they can grow more and become cheaper in the long run because it's all about supply and demand too so you know consider changing up your diet remove meat from your diet a couple times per week don't eat cheese or don't drink milk a few times a week if you absolutely don't want to go vegan and you know just try alternatives because there are alternatives for everything and it's not a difficult lifestyle and if you have any questions feel free to ask me I am currently working on a vegan course so like transitioning to a vegan lifestyle because 
I've realized that people have so much trouble with it. Like, it's not that difficult. You eat everything except for meat and dairy and eggs. Like, you, most of the food is not that. So think of anything that comes out of the ground. You can eat that. So you're not limited to just, like, tofu and lettuce. But that is my two cents on the whole topic and yeah. <laughs>